Hello, fellow legends of Runeterra, and welcome to a beginner's, a beginner's deck. deck. Oh, you messed up the line, dude. So here is my first ever beginner's deck. Why beginner's deck? Well, I'm still in bronze, so today what I'll try and do is get to silver with this deck. I'm currently in bronze one, so if this deck can get me to silver, I'll be very happy. But what does this deck play for, basically? This deck plays for the elusive and Zed as its champion. Now, I'm not sure if Zed is actually necessary in this deck. I just kind of like Zed, and I kind of got all three Zeds very early on, so I just thought, hey, might as well build a deck around him. And Zed's really good in the early game because you kind of want to wait for like a late game finisher with your Empyrean, which you're going to try and boost up with cards like Jewel Protector and Averos and Hearthguard or even Omen Hawk if you need to. Let's just go through all the cards in detail real quick. Starting off, we have Navori Blade Scout. When I'm summoned, give me Elusive. This is a pretty decent elusive card. It's a nice little one drop. Maybe you can cut this card for something else if you want to or if you don't have it. It's a pretty simple card. If you have this and your opponent doesn't have any elusive cards, you know, it can just attack him for two. Then we have Omen Hawk, a really decent one drop. This just boosts the top two units in your deck by 1-1. One, one. And yeah, there's a lot of cards that synergize with the fact that if they are getting boost, they are obviously going to get a lot more potential. And those cards I'll be talking about later. But basically, all you need to know for this deck is it basically plays for like a boost cards in your hand and deck and then, you know, get more potential out of these cards. Then we have Green Glade Duo, another elusive card that gets one plus attack whenever you summon a unit. So you're also kind of trying to swarm the board a little bit with this deck and this card will get extra attack points and if the opponent doesn't have an elusive this will obviously attack for more the more units you can summon during this turn then we have navori highwayman and this card is basically one of the first cards that really synergizes well with this entire deck with green glade duo this gives it two bodies so it boosts the green glade duo is attack by two extra attack so it's four attack then and if these are boosted in your hand or were boosted by something like omen hawk earlier they will basically be identical drops of each other and you can basically summon two of this card so you're basically getting like two units and the worst case scenario you're just playing them for one two each and you're still putting out like units on your side of the field which could be kind of useful at times so yeah then i have retreat retreat basically recalls an ally and then creates a fleeting return in your hand return is to summon an ally that costs three or less from your hand so basically if your sort of champion or a necessary card is about to die you can just pull it back and then play it again i run two off this card not three off and i think you can definitely replace this card i just kind of like it in a lot of situations basically i feel like this card can be very powerful then I have Shared Spoils, grant the top three units in your deck one plus, and then Plunder draw one of them. This is another card that sort of synergizes with the whole boosting your cards in the deck sort of idea, and yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Then I have Shadow Assassin, elusive when I'm summoned, draw one. This is a very useful elusive card, it draws you a card. Gives you a bit of consistency, it's not that expensive to drop, and if this is boosted, genuinely, if your elusives are boosted in your hand, it's always very good. Because unless you're playing against elusives, the elusives will obviously get value since they can only be targeted with spells. Then I run two Twin Disciples, give an ally three attack or three health this round. Very versatile card, helps you a lot of the times from, you know, protecting a unit from getting killed, or helps you with killing certain champions or certain cards that you just want to get rid of so yeah that's what this card is there for just a bit of protection or a bit more attack when it's needed and now we move on to the only champion in the deck and that is zed with quick attack summon an attacking living shadow with my stats the living shadow has the thermal tag so if this is boosted up by cards like hawk or shared spoils 
The Affirma will also be boosted, so you're gonna have bigger drops. And the fact that Zed is quick attack makes him really, really powerful. For his level up, you only need to hit the enemy Nexus with either Zed or an Affirma twice, which shouldn't be that difficult. And if you don't manage to do that and the opponent blocks, it's very likely that Zed can just, you know, kill them with the quick attack and something like a Twin Disciples and not lose any of his health because of the quick attack, obviously. And with his level up, the other Affirma Living Shadow will also get the quick attack which makes things, I mean, it's kind of useless because the Living Shadow has a Fermal anyway, so it'll die next round anyway. So, eh, I guess his level up isn't as powerful as you might want it to be. Maybe you can add like a spell that gives Elusive to a unit that would make it a bit more efficient, but you're not really playing all out for Zed here anyway. Zed's just like a tool to sort of get you into the late game and then just overwhelm your opponent with the Elusives. As for spells, Zed's Shadow Shift, recall an ally and summon a living shadow in its place, shuffle Zed into your deck. It's, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of meh. Honestly, I don't think this is a really powerful spell. And because a lot of the times your Zeds, if you draw them later on and you already have a Zed on your field, the Zeds might be boosted. So you don't really want this. You'd rather want the boosted Zed and can just sacrifice one of the earlier Zeds. Not sure if that's the best strategy to play with, but <laughs> that's usually what I like to do. And it sometimes works out and sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, as I said, I'm still bronze. So maybe some of the things that I'm saying here don't make any sense to the higher level players. So... Hopefully, you still get my gist here. Then I have the Nai, three of this card. Stop a fast spell, slow spell, or a skill. Just, I think this card should be in any sort of Iona deck. If not, then I don't I don't know what kind of deck you're playing. But yeah, it's a very powerful spell. But I think in this deck, it is very much necessary since you will be playing for these elusive cards. And if the opponent will be able to deal with the elusive cards, it'll very likely be with spells. Because, you know, elusive cards can't be targeted with units or blocked with units. Being able to deny like a spell that would kill an elusive unit or like a big elusive unit that you play is very powerful indeed. Then I have Will of Iona, recall a unit. So that's also, that could either be an opponent's unit or your unit. I think this is an every Iona deck. I'm not sure if there's a Iona deck that doesn't have this card. This card is just really powerful, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I need to really say much. Like, it could just put back a unit from the opponent. Then I have Avarosan Hearthguard. When I'm summoned, grant allies in your deck one plus. So you play this, it boosts every single card in your deck by one plus and one plus. So very powerful. This is also a very nice tool to sort of defend at five mana with five and five. It's a very well balanced card. And just, you know, the next card that you will draw will be more powerful because of this card. So I really like this card. And yeah, it's just a decent card, honestly. Then I have Jeweled Protector. This I run as a two off. I don't think it's that necessary since we do actually run quite a bit of spells. This card could be bricked in certain situations, which is why I'm not running three of this card. But yeah, granting an ally in hand, three plus three, most of the time that's gonna be an elusive card, a big elusive card. And then you just wanna like attack with the elusive card and get the game over with as fast as possible. Then we have Dawn and Dusk, summon two exact copies of an ally and their affirmal. This is usually your finisher. Basically, you wanna play an affirmal card that's big and chunky and boost it up to the max. And then you just like, play this card. If the opponent tries to deny it, you can also deny it with your deny. And then it'll just summon two ethermal copies of a card of a chunky ethermal in the best case, obviously. And then you can just, you know, like literally win the game on the spot with this card. So yeah, this card's a pretty hard win all, but if it works, you just win the game. So that's never bad, is it? And then we have the chunkiest of the ephemeral cards, the Imperian. This is the card you usually want to boost up. This is usually also your Dawn and Dusk target. So after the opponent's attack, if you're able to play this card, you play this card and then you just Dawn and Dusk and sort of deny whatever the opponent is gonna try and do to this card. And yeah, that's basically your finisher. This card's basically like your finisher. And yeah, that was the deck. If there's any weakness with this deck, like a very clear weakness that I've noticed, it's definitely Frostbite. Frostbite is arguably the worst matchup for this since you play your Imperian, it's gonna have like 10 power. The opponent can't block it, but can you, you can just Frostbite it. So your Dawn and Dusk is gonna be useless. You're just gonna summon a bunch of like zero attack units with Frostbite. So yeah, Frostbite is probably the worst matchup I've had with this so far, but as I said, I'm still bronze, so I can't really determine which matchups are good or not. 
So yeah, this is a beginner's deck. I'm still a beginner, so please go easy on me. Let's just play some games. Try and get to silver with this. If we can, I'm gonna be very happy, obviously. If not, then <laughs> maybe this entire deck guide was useless. All right, we're playing against like a Freylord Noxus match, okay. So it's this is a late game, but they don't really play elusives. Okay, this is a weird hand. I don't want any of these cards, honestly. So yeah, just get rid of this entire hand. Okay, that's better. So we have a blocker in this turn. Depends on whether he plays or not. Oh, I like I like Omen Hawk in hand for like turn one. So I think I just play Omen Hawk here. And yeah, just end the round here, right? Oh, we do get the Z oh look at that. We already got the boosted Zed. That's that's what you like to see. Hmm. Do I go? For I think I just go for the Blade Scout. Yeah, sure. Let's go for the Blade Scout. Just attack with these two. Depends on what he does. Okay, let's just attack with both of these guys. And get some health off of the opponent. So if this this seems like a late game deck, so we we have to get as much like damage as possible right now. Okay, we get another like boosted elusive, which is always good. Question now is do I actually want to play a card here? Not necessarily. I kinda wanna play Zed next turn, but at the same time, Brom does kinda deal with Zed. Uh I, I could just play her. And then Zed next turn and give her more attack. Yeah, that works. So who's he gonna challenge? He shouldn't be able to kill her, right? I mean, unless he has like some sort of attack. Grant, oh, okay, so he's giving it, uh, okay. Wait, was this two allies? Oh, wow, okay, so he just, he just wasted a bunch of stuff there. That's kind of funny. But it sticks, right? It just sticks out too. It just doesn't go away, which is kind of annoying. Okay, we do get the dragon. I could like, Iona here. Uh, is it too early to Iona? I just get out my Zed. I think I just get out my Zed here. To the shadows. I don't carry change. Okay. So he's damaging this. Oh. Oh, okay, that's kinda scary. So what if I just go ahead and oh, okay, I can't I can't actually Iona here. Uh he's gonna kill it. Actually no, wait, I am wait, what what am I saying? I I'm I got fast attack. Oh, but he's got spells. You can still play spells. Huh. This is a bit scary. I think I just do this. I think I just go attack here. Smorky smork. Yeah, I think he's got a spell to deal with this. Jeez. That's a that's a big brown. That's a good recall then. Jeez. I'd say that's a good recall. Okay. So we can recall this next turn. Should be okay. This is a pretty scary brown. I ain't gonna lie. That was a good recall then. Jesus, seven, eight, brown. That's that's pretty scary. That is very scary. Yeah, we're 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 calling this guy like no doubt, absolutely no doubt about this. I guess I can take the one damage here. So yeah, just do this. I mean, I'm 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 pretty happy with this. This is a pretty good recall here. Yeah, he even gives me the emote then. Now, do I play shared spoils or do I play the shadow assassin here? I think I like shadow assassin more. Cause like I could play shared spoils after I play Shadow Assassin, right? Yeah, no, it feels bad. I'm sorry, Brown. I didn't mean to hurt you. But this guy's playing like a really like all-out Brown sort of deck. Yeah, sure, let's do this, right? I can play one shared spoils and like one hearth guard. Poro snacks. Okay, sure. More Poro snacks. Jeez. Alright, I guess so. Sure. Just attack here, I guess. So we just do this, right? Just get the plunder. Get the elusive as well. It's good. More elusives. I don't mind it. So I think I just play the the hearth guard as well. Boost some cards up in my hand. Maybe I should have played the hearth guard first and then played the shared spoils. That actually was a, that was already the first misplay. So yeah, there you go. Mm, that feels kind of annoying, but whatever. He's got overwhelm as well. I mean, this doesn't really do much, does it? Yeah, whatever. Sure. Go ahead and level up your brown. Okay, so do I play Empyrean now? Or do I play my Protector first? I think I play Protector first, honestly. I'm gonna get the Empyrean on like a big chunky, you know, nine attack, you know, that's that's what you like to see. Oh my god, so much goddamn buffs. It's, oh my god, does he have another one? Oh Jesus. That is a chunky. And I mean chunky brown. Jesus. How do I deal with this? I mean, I could just play elusive. <laughs> I could just play an elusive unit, honestly. I mean, I could just wait, right? Could play like Highwayman and... Or do I just play Highwayman? Uh, okay, so it's either Highwayman or like... Uh, I don't want to play the Empyrean here. I think Empyrean is a bit 
too exaggerated. I think I just go for Shadow Assassin so I can just share spoils easily. Nice. We get another... Oh, we, we get her. That's really good, actually, as well. Because these synergize really well with each other. And they're all boosted up as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow. What is this? Enemies with four or less power cannot damage me. Okay. I guess so. So we're taking some life off of him. He's got a, oh, he's got a big lonely Poro. Uh, I, I think I'd still go shared spoils here and get my unit. Another hawk. I can I can play my hawk here if I need to. I, I, the more defensive units I have here is, is pretty good actually. So yeah, we got this guy. All right, sure, this is fine. I don't mind this. So we get a, a we lose like a bit of mana, but whatever. We get two denies, which is really powerful. Now we're just gonna start blocking. Draw a champion. Okay. It's gonna start killing things, I think, but that's not really an issue. Like, it really isn't an issue. Okay, he wants to kill the, the this thing. Yeah, there you go. You got it, buddy. Okay, so I just do this, do this. I don't need her next round, right? So how's it looking? Minus three? Ah, I can take it. I can take minus three. I can definitely take minus three here. So do I play... I think I just play Greedy now. I think playing Greedy here is definitely an option. Because I, I think I just play her now. Then play the Highwayman to boost her up next turn and just play the... Ah, oh, I could play Empyrean as well. This round. Okay, I'll just play Empyrean. Give me that Empyrean, boy. Alright. Uh, this should be... Good now, right? Like... Just do this. And recall something. Recall like brown. Yeah, sure. All right. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Poro, poro. Sure. More poros. Okay. I like it. I like it. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so it's not gonna do you much, is it? Though. No. All right. Sure. So yeah, that's the power of this deck. It's basically like just hope your opponent <laughs> cannot deal with the elusives. But when he can, it's gonna be really hard for him, obviously. All right. We're playing Karma. Uh, Timo, I th yeah, Timo is his name. I'm still new to like, I'm still new to names, but I kind of know the basics now at this point. So I don't need two of these. Shared spoils is okay actually. I don't mind the do. Uh, eh, actually, his hands are. I mean, I like I like both of these. If I get a one drop here, I'm happy. Get a, I do get a one drop. Uh, I wish I wish I had drawn Highwayman a bit later <laughs> then. Ah, oh, dude, that would have been so good. But I guess just the Nothing normal Highwayman is okay. I mean, we, we attack, he doesn't want to block with this. He'd be very, very silly to block with that. So, we do get another elusive. I mean, he's just gonna... Oh. Okay, sure. Gives us the opportunity to deal with the Teemo if he attacks. That's good. Uh... Okay. Alright, sure. Mmm... I could play both of these. I think I'd, I'd rather like curve on this better and play this next. Because like, if I'm on the attack and I have this card, might as well just play it right. Okay, so this is also elusive, but it's not too much of an issue. Okay. Let's take out some units at least. Attack. Get rid of the elusive amateur aeronaut. What does this guy do even? Next, create a, in hand an exact copy of a random spell from the enemy deck. Okay, sure. Yay! We do get one attack off, but what does it actually mean? Okay, we get another one of these. Okay, Z oh, sorry, he's gonna start with a Z now. I could just recall. That actually is a pretty funny recall. Don't want to do it. Do I want to recall the Z? I don't know. I mean, you won't be able to play it next turn. I mean, Zed's pretty scary when he's on the attack, so I think this is okay. I'm not sure if it's correct, but... It's... it doesn't seem bad. Okay, yeah, we do get her. So we get a bunch of elusives at this point, which is not bad. We can also go for three attack. Okay, so... ah, oh, the Protector, that's pretty bad. Protector is pretty bad. We do get the Empyrean, though, so that's never bad. Alright, let's do this. Start attacking here, I guess. Uh, Twin Disciple's not bad, but there is no way we can actually deal with the Zed right now. Oh my god, Zed's very scary with the 6-5. Uh, how do I deal? How do I deal with this? 
Let's just create more units, might as well. Hey, we get this guy now, but it's a bit too late. I would have liked this last turn. Kneel students, rise warriors. Well, I think I just have to throw some dudes under the bus. Mm. Do I want to play for this Twin Disciples? I do have to kill that Zed. Ah, sure. Just let him attack, I guess. What, what you gonna do? We go as one. Okay. So, let's put this guy here. Put her here. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. Do I use this twin disciples? Nah, we're good, I think. We don't need to. Uh, master. Hmm. Yeah, seven seven five Z's pretty damn scary, honestly. Very, very scary. I mean we can attack with our own Z. Wait, do we have a lethal here? Nine plus three? No, we don't. I mean, summoning my own Zed actually isn't bad here. Gives my green light duo some good, you know, points to work with. And no, another protector, dude. So I think I twin disciples my Zed. Just put them on the attack now. The quick attack will come in very handy here. You can't block with this Zed. Kinku, hold fast. Sure. Kinku, still rise. Okay. After what does them? This do? After oh, so this was the jewel protector target, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, nice. So we could kind of just throw everything under the bus next round. Yeah, I guess that seems okay. Doesn't seem bad, honestly. Okay, what would I like? I would love a Will of Iona here, but we don't get it and that's fine still. Okay, so here we have a bit of an issue. Do I want to play for this Empyrean now, this round, or do I wait for next round? And do I play, I mean, I play for this, right? This gives me the carryover I need. Do not deny okay, okay, okay. Oh, he gives us a barrier. It's pretty annoying. So what do I block with here? I think I take this out. I think I just Punish wait. Uh -huh. I mean, what if we just don't block here? Yeah, we lose. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, we need to block, I guess, just a little bit. Where are you going? Cut the yeah, I guess it's just stopping it while we can. Because technically, in this next round, we should be able to, you know, win the game. Oh boy. Okay, but he's playing his spells out here. It's not too bad. Wait, why did he? Why do you give that the twin the disciples? That was weird. I just play this now. Ooh, that's not bad actually. That's actually not bad at all. So deny. Oh, I was hoping for deny here. I think I go for this guy. Yeah, just go for this guy. We go greed here. We just greed it out. Hopefully he tries to stop one of these. Just keeping the peace. Okay. Let's play the Imperian now. <laughs> and just like that, the game's over. It's, it's literally like, I don't know, it's it's weird. This deck's weird. Like, the late game, and if the, if the opponent actually doesn't have any answers to your late game, it, it's it's just funny to, just to watch them, like, like, they know. It's like they know they can't do anything. All right, we're playing against Fiona. Wait, what was her name again? I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm not very good with those names just yet. Okay, you want to always replace Highwaymen, because you want them in your deck, so that if you sort of... Okay, I don't need Retreat. Don't need two of these, honestly. It's not that great. I like one of them though. Oh, two Zeds. Kind of weird. Fiora. Ah, Fiora. That's that's her name. Ah, that's her name. Okay, we get the Dawn of Dusk. We could go for some meme plays here with like, go Super Zed. I like the idea of Super Zed. It's kind of a stupid meme, but it's it's pretty funny. But yeah, the the Dawn of Dusk on the dragon is pretty nutty though. That, that is definitely something. No, I guess I just trade Omen Hawks here. Keep one like extra mana for next round. Because we can take out his board, it's not a problem. Uh sure. Okay. Alright, let's take this I guess. My Okay. Ow. Mm. Always hurts, man. This this always feels painful. Okay, we get a will. I think I just, just summon my Zed here. 
I got two Zeds anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it gets removed. Uh, Brown. Yeah, Brown's a bit... Nah, it's a bit annoying. Ah, I guess I'll take it. Many faces. We can recall Brown when we need to, or when he starts boosting it up. Yeah, sure. Oh, we get that. Look at this! This is why I like High. The High Women just, like, needs to be in deck. Oh, he's got a Mighty Poro. I kind of want to summon these two together, but I also kind of want a little Iona. How much damage is he away? Okay, he's, cool. he's a bit of damage away here. Uh, I think I play her first. Put her on the, throw her under the bus. If she dies, I'm not too mad. If they, these guys are like, they just get more value. Oh, he's actually playing a card here. Oh, sweet. All right, I like that. That was good. That was a risky play from us, but it paid off in the end. Because he had to play that hawk for some reason. So we can defeat the Poro. He's probably gonna drag this out here. Okay, not bad. Uh, okay, let's just drag these guys out then. Wee, wee. All right. So how far is he away now? He's on seven, so three more damage. No, we got two Ionas now. I could. Oh, dude, I I want to go for the memes, boys. We gotta go for those memes, man. Dude, I, I, this is so funny. This is actually so funny. Our look at this. Grow. This is this is insane, dude. Look, <laughs> look at her. She just gets boosted like crazy. Yeah, this is this is a me. This is a very memey play by me right now. I'm, I might actually regret this, but this is just too funny, boys. I could play her and just like two of these. Or I could just play all of these guys. I like playing all of these guys. I mean, I do lose quite a bit of stuff here and Brom will level up uh, maybe that was a misplay <laughs> i just wanted to go for the memes there yeah just go for this right boom 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 oh my god look at all these zeds oh she would have actually had seven attack maybe i should have played for her it's kind of scary uh, maybe i should have just played for her there yeah i definitely should have played for her that was a little bit of a silly play but we're taking out a lot of, like, his stuff here. Like, a good chunk of his stuff. Well, what? Why would you do it like this? <laughs> Time to celebrate. That's weird. Okay, sure. I am the shadow. I am the shadow. I and there you go. That's a level up. The we get the level up. Wah! <laughs> Easy as you like. And we are in a... In a Decent position. Maybe if I went- oh, maybe I should've just gone for her. That actually might have won me the game if I had just gone attack with her. That might have been quite the problem. So I think now we're just using the Iona here. Yeah, just using the I Iona here. Oh. Don't have double Iona. I think I just want to see what he does here. Uh-oh. <clears throat> this could be kind of scary. Okay. Let's see what he does. First we fight. We should be friends. So he does it on this. Just looking out for the public. Um, I think I play him and recall this guy. Yeah, it should be okay. I don't want the Zed to die. Yeah, maybe I should have recalled the Senna. I get some more Poro Poros. Ouch. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, maybe I should have played Spoils there. I think Spoils was actually a correct play. Wait, yeah, this is lethal, right? Yeah, we got the lethal down. It's pretty good. So, can he block? We don't have a deny, sadly. If we had deny in hand, we'd pretty much win the game on a spot, but I think it's still good. Yes. <laughs> Dude, elusive, man. What, like, what, what are you gonna do against elusives? I mean, you have to have play spells or frost. Other than that, nothing really works against it. And there you go! Is that it? Yeah! Let's go! We get to silver! Beautiful! Absolutely fantastic! Nice! I like that's what you like to see! Alright, we get a champion's capsule for Iona as well for that. I mean, we, we had one before. Oh! Oh! We get Karma's! Oh, we get Shen as well! That's a good little capsule there! I like that. Okay, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that was my beginner's deck. I won all three games pretty comfortably, honestly. Not sure if it was my opponents that played badly, or if I was just that good, but or if the deck was that good. But if you're starting the game off, and you have like, sort of good Iona cards, because I think you do get like two Zeds at the start. 
I remember I had like two Zeds at the start of the game. And it was really easy to build the deck from there on. I tried a lot of cards. Like, I tried a lot of, like, variations. I tried, like, one with, like, Steel Tempest as well. I also tried Key Guardian. I didn't like that too much, though. I also tried it with Kinku Lifeblade. And I didn't like that one too much either. It was kind of it was kind of bad, honestly. It wasn't really that great. I don't know what other cards or, like, other champions you could add to this deck. There's definitely place for variants, especially with the cards that boost in hand. You can play things like the Green Glade Elder, or you could also play the Inspiring Mentor if you want to, or even like Ghost. I think Ghost isn't a bad choice in this deck as well, because giving your Zed Elusive is pretty good, but it only is for this round, so eh, it's only good if he's leveled up and, you know, as I said, Zed's not really the main sort of like target. Zed's sort of just something that will help you keep up with your opponent sort of like slowly and steadily decrease the Nexus health and then you just finish him off with the elusive cards that you have. And yeah, that was it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Legends of Runeterra content, and I'll see you soon.